So the first kinematic equation that we wrote down was the following. Theta F equals theta I plus omega initial times T plus one half alpha T squared. Now if we think about the spin up part of this motion, then what can we say? We can say that theta, how far it rotates on the way up while it's spinning up, is where it starts plus omega i times t plus one half alpha going up times t squared. Now, in the problem, I gave you a few things. I gave you theta i. Uh, we said that it's starting from rest. Omega i is equal to zero. But we don't know alpha up, and we don't know t. But let's give you t. Let's say t is nine seconds. Okay, so it takes nine seconds for this thing to spin up from rest to a final omega f. All right, so this equation doesn't necessarily help us very much because we don't know alpha up. So let's look at another kinematic equation. Let's say that omega final equals omega initial plus alpha t. Let's look at that equation, right? That's one of our four kinematic equations. What do we know here? Well, we know this. We know that alpha is going up. I just gave you t. I said it's nine seconds for the spin up. And we know omega final, right? We were given that. So look, we can calculate what that angular acceleration is on the way up as it's spinning up. It is just omega final over t. All right, and we know all those things, so that's good. So now, with that knowledge, we can go back to our other kinematic equation and calculate theta f. Theta f equals theta i plus omega initial times t plus one-half alpha t squared, and now we know all these things, okay? We know that theta initial is equal to zero. We know that omega initial is equal to zero, and now we have alpha up. Alpha up is omega final over t times t squared, and so we get theta final equals one half omega final times t. And now you can plug in those numbers. Theta final or theta specifically, let's talk about the spin up, right? Theta up equals one half times omega final, which we said was 10 pi radians per second. We're going to multiply by how long it took. We gave that to you, 9 seconds. And what do you get if you multiply all this out? Well, 10 times 9 is 90. Divide that by 2, I get 45. And then I still have a pi hanging out there. 45 pi radians. Okay, and That's how far it rotated while it was spinning up during that first nine seconds.